What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Dirt Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today we have a video on how to get rare metals off eBay for you guys. So if you guys are excited for today's video, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notification bell so you guys never miss out on any content to come. Got an awesome video here today. I'm going to show you guys how to get rare models on eBay. Models that are somewhat uncommon to the very rarest. We have a whole template, a five step guide that will really uh, help you guys out. But before we get this video started, I did want to give a huge shout out to ACS 7 x for helping me on the uh, checklist for you guys. So if you guys would please go uh, subscribe to his channel and go check out his videos. He just uh, posted a new airport update. It's been a month since, and he's finally back. So he's got some cool stuff on the way. So please go check him out. But we'll hop on the computer and I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay guys, so as you can see, we have the checklist right here and I'm gonna show you guys how to get rare models on eBay. This is gonna be fun, so let's get into it. So we have our five step checklist right here and we are gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna elaborate on each and every thing so you guys have the best understanding of how it's done on my side because I know I get so many of these. So you guys are always uh, pretty much jealous. So yeah, let's get into it. The first things first, before you go to eBay, make sure that the model cannot be found anywhere else. It is really simple to do this step. So pretty much what I'm getting at here is make sure that the model can't be found retail on, you know, Panaflex Toys or uh, Prairie Diecast or Easy Toys or any retailer that you want to put into perspective. So a prime example of this model is the Alaska Airlines Airpace E321 Neo. So uh, some now here's my thing. You can buy retail or models that are in stock everywhere on eBay. I personally do not recommend it just because of the scam factor. You have a lot better chance of, um, you know, not having any issues going through natural retailers. So, for example, um, if you go look at Alaska Airbus A221 Neo on Google and one to 400, just do a simple search, not that hard, and then go down and look through the websites. As you can tell, Waffle Collectibles has it right here for $35.95. And that's where you're gonna get your best deal and have your best insurance that you're not gonna have any issues getting that model in your collection. So if anything, if the model is in stock, I highly recommend going through a retailer if you can find it in stock. But if not, that's where eBay obviously comes into play. So number two, do your research on the model and see what it typically goes for on eBay. So um, some models, I mean, I can throw out a ton of examples. Now here's the deal, if you guys really need help and can't figure out what's perfect or what's the best price is, feel free to contact me. I can help you guys out. I'm really good on the narrow body stuff, North America stuff for the most part. Uh, the internationals is kind of where I struggle. So if you know somebody that's more into the internationals or has a better understanding of that, go ask them. I'm sure they have a good idea. Such Aviation knows a lot about it. So definitely go ask him if you have any questions. But for narrow body stuff, I pretty much know what everything runs for. So I'm happy to help you guys out. Just comment or direct message me. But yeah, uh, do your research. Like I said, so go on eBay. Uh, I'm going to show you guys right now the best steps in finding the aircraft, which uh, we, that's our part right now. So let's go find an aircraft that we want to go uh, target. Okay, so here we are on the eBay homepage. There's a lot of useful tips that will really help you out when it comes to eBay getting your stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So the first things first, we're going to, uh, this is just a common search. It doesn't have to be this. So whatever you're eyeing down, in this case, I'm going to be looking through Alaska aircraft in 1 to 400 scale. You can type that in. So we're just going to go with Alaska 1 to 400, real simple. All the results from Aero Classics, Gemini Jets, NG models, everything will come up. So unless you're going after a particular model, do not specify. Like, let's just say that you're doing, I don't know, uh, San Diego and you want an Alaska 737 of some sort. Uh, this example will be perfect for you if you're doing that. But uh, if you just want an Alaska 737 for your airport, just type in Alaska 1 to 400 and you'll get everything. So that's what I kind of like about this. It's kind of a broad and easy search. You don't have just this particular two models like the Alaska 737 Max 9 and the A321 Neo when you just go to look at a retailer. So as you can tell, we have all the retail results. Now there are different types of listings that are presented. So as you can tell, there's these top ones that are sponsored. These are usually, um, uh, bear, bear with me here. It's usually diecast jets for the most part and there's a couple of Panafox toys and this is pretty much, this is the retailer's eBay page. A lot of people just go to eBay to buy models which is perfectly fine if you wanna do that. I, I'm guilty of it. So a lot of people just go to eBay to buy models and they just have them top up. Uh, they pay eBay to be first on the list so they can get the sales. So what they do is they'll pay like, I don't know, $5, Five dollars per day on an ad or you know an aircraft or whatever. So for example, you have this Alaska 737 Max 9 for 35.96. Diecast jets guarantee it right there. So 4,000 reviews. 
it's 55 sold and six available. That pretty much just means it's coming from diecast jets and you're gonna get it from there. Uh, obviously price is good and everything like that. They're trustworthy, their uh, rating should not be that high in my opinion, but it looks like not many people have had issues. So, but anyways, yeah, but that's not really the point. This is a rare model. So I was just showing you guys what type of listings you're gonna find. So anyways, you have all of these and then you start getting into the other results that are from actual people that have had these models for a long time that are finally getting rid of them. So here's a couple examples. Uh, we already passed the example I'm gonna show you guys for today's video. But you know, you have, uh, here's the waffle collectibles one and then here's, uh, here's another type of example. People would just put the stock picture of the aircraft and then just have a bid or the placement or whatever. Um, and I'll show you guys more on how to kind of divvy those out. But if it's rare for a good price, that's when you need to jump on it. So the new listings will come up and then you have listings down here of the box and all kinds of stuff. But for today's example, I'm gonna show you guys the aircraft that is, it's a pretty rare aircraft that is a good deal. If this one's still available, I'll make sure to make note in the premiere chat and hopefully a pinned comment. But anyways, right here we have the one of one skill Gemini Jets, Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800 2016 release with the Hawaiian Lay. This model is pretty hard to find. It's sold out everywhere to my knowledge. I've done Google searches and I have not been able to find it. So obviously uh, there's a couple things that we have to go through here to make sure that this is gonna be a solid buy that is not bad whatsoever. So number three on our um, Google doc here is, is it a good price? Um, obviously, like I kind of mentioned earlier, you're gonna want to do your research and figure out, hey, does this model typically go for $50, $75, $100, or $35.96? You wanna figure out what these models usually go for to make sure that you're not getting scammed and you know just getting a bad deal on it. So for say, this model I've seen on eBay, it usually, if it's a bid, it usually typically goes for about $50 to $60-ish, give or take per day, and then shipping tops it off for about $70. But uh, this model was really rare. It's, it's the one thing that I've noticed with the eBay Citrus will definitely be able to relate to this one. Models have definitely uh, not got as much money traction wise uh, recently. The values uh, kind of went down to an extent. It depends per model really, but um, right here, like I mentioned, we have the Gemini Jets, wonderful one to scale, Alaska Boeing 737-800, Hawaiian Weight 2016 release. I do want to make note of releases in a moment, but I'll leave that for a second. So yeah, you're pretty much just gonna have to look around, see what it goes for, and try to find a good price. In this case, around $50 total. Um, you had the 42 for the initial model, and then you're gonna have 845 for the shipping, and then you're gonna have three or four dollars of tax, which is gonna put you right at about 52, 53 dollars. It's a really good deal for how rare this model is. So it's right under retail for the most part. Now, uh, here's what you're gonna want to do next. So, uh, tip or Checklist number four, uh, we've already cleared that yes, it is a good price. Try to make sure that the model is in good condition and make sure that the seller has good reviews. This is a key, the number four is one of the biggest ones. Check the model's description. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at the aircraft. So we have these pictures here. Here's the box, the box is in fantastic condition. Uh, we have the plastic tray, the plastic is present. And here's the model, uh, definitely, I prefer doing it on the computer so I can just see everything I'm doing here. Uh, the model looks in fantastic condition. All the antennas, or actually, never mind. I just noticed this little error, so maybe this is why. Um, so as you can tell, we have a dented split scimitar right here. This is why looking at every picture and every little detail is so critical. Uh, this is, I would still use this as a good example. I should have did my research before I even brought this up, but I just saw the price and I really want to get this video out for you guys. But anyways, we're just going to pretend that the split scimitar is not dented here, but obviously it is. This is a key defect, and if you do not want to see this defect, I do not recommend buying this model. But you're going to go over each and every precise little, um, I'm going to look at the model in depth to see if it's in condition, uh, in good condition, pardon me. And then there's another issue, the uh, landing gear nose wheel is off on the other side, so no wonder this thing is going for so cheap. But if this thing was in perfect condition, had the other split scimitar uh, fully intact, and the landing gear was fully there, then it would be different. Uh, besides that, it is in really good condition. Uh, obviously, I do not recommend buying this one. I'm just showing you guys, if it was in perfect condition, what you would want to look for, or what you would want to do. And obviously, here's where he's showing the bottom wheel is messed up. Uh, besides that, the back antenna is intact and it looks really, really good besides that one little issue. 
Um, so anyways, perfect condition and make sure that the seller has good reviews, uh, which we'll talk about next. Every time you buy a model off eBay to prevent being scammed, you're gonna wanna check the feedback. I highly recommend staying over honestly 99%. Here we have 100%. I usually check the guy's uh, actual um, deals here, uh, or sorry, his feedback ratings here to make sure we know what's going on. So um, here's the guy. So he has 16 positive, no neutrals, no negatives, and that's in the last 12 months, so really good. And he's only been around since May, so that's really good. Um, we got a thumb here on July 6th. Good model, which is a plus, obviously. A++ plus plus seller, reasonable prices, and the model is shipped That's good to look for if the model is shipped quickly or in good condition, stuff like that, you know, just the typical stuff. Uh, nice model and great service and packaging. Again, good tip. And uh, I'll just read one more, another thumb. So, as you can tell there, uh, this guy is legit. He has, he, he's really good when it comes to shipping, nice on payment, good prices, stuff like that. Now, here's the next thing. Um, check the model description to see if it lists anything, you know, suspicious. Like if the model, were, if this guy knows what he's talking about, he's gonna say that the uh, landing gear is missing and split scimitar is dented. Let's take a look. Uh, so here's the, uh, yeah, so this is kind of real mediocre. Um, one of four hundred scale Gemini Jets, Alaska, Hawaiian Lay Boeing, 737-800, and then the code. Condition is used. Uh, he does not make note that it is dented and the landing gear is missing, so that's kind of a issue. Uh, shipped with US uh, PS priority mail. Again, it is what it is, but in all real estate, that is pretty mediocre form, not to mention a really big defect here with the split and then the landing gear being missing. But yeah, in normal cases, you're gonna to wanna to look over fully. So if I went to his um, items for sale, just to look at another example of our rare model here, let me find one that's half decent. Uh, here we go, perfect. This is a very rare aircraft. We have the Ethiopian 777-200LR, uh, Aviation 18 guy recently. Now this model is super rare. I don't know a ton about it. I don't know what it typically goes for. I think over 60-ish, but this thing is very rare and this is a fantastic price for it. Uh, he even knows it's rare, so he kind of knows what he's talking about to an extent. Anyways, you can go look at the box again and then you can look through the uh, tray to see how that's in condition. Now the model looks fantastic, hopefully, He'll give us a underbelly view. Uh, really nice uh, for the time that that was released. Landing gear's intact, the uh, top looks good, and I'm, not even, I'm just kind of looking at work through it. Yeah, landing gear intact, it looks nice, no paint shift, no missing anything. So very, very nice here on this Ethiopian 777. So again, good reviews, shipping's fair. And then um, check the description, obviously, make sure that he, yeah, perfect. No scratches, chips, or damage. Um, has been open but the model's perfect so obviously this guy's more of a yeah I'm not gonna necessarily make note to try to drive in sales if there's an issue but I will note when it's ideal and this is obviously a perfect aircraft uh, unfortunately I don't need it or it would, uh, it would be shipping to my house right now so yeah this is fantastic and then the fifth and final checklist step for you guys is what is the best use of money uh, and then or yeah we'll just go over thing one for one what is the best use of money? So let's say that you're doing again San Diego and um, it depends. Like, let's say you have um, one Alaska aircraft. Just saying that we're starting San Diego out of nowhere. You have one Alaska aircraft, one Southwest aircraft, and that's it. So would you say, okay, well, this, me and Citrus Aviation will be doing a more in depth video soon about how to start your collection and how to grow it. That will hopefully be coming by the end of the month. I'm not sure. But in more context, uh, this is kind of just a little tip on that. Um, let's say that you're starting your uh, San Diego model airport and you have one Alaska and one Southwest, the two main carriers pretty much out of San Diego, um, and you have nothing else. Would you rather go buy another Alaska aircraft or would you rather get a United, American, Delta, or another airline that flies there that you need to get? I kind of like to collect, you know, this is me on collecting. I like to get everything. Um, I try. I like to try to even everything out and get a little of everything, so it's not completely unrealistic. Rather than have a ten Alaska aircraft and then nothing. I know I'm kind of guilty of building up my American fleet before going on to the internationals at Dallas. I'm really close. I just need the uh, Korean, Japan, and there's another. I think Air France will come back. 
I can't think of anything else right now. But my point is, wouldn't you rather have a more di uh, distributed uh, collection that has a little of everything than having all of one and nothing? So what you want to do is you want to figure out, hey, I think that I need to spend the money on that last or American 737 800 in the uh, Chrome livery. That's not a great example. Or, you know. Would you rather spend your money on something that uh, would be fairly realistic or at rather realistic that comes to the airport often um, compared to getting more depth for a carrier that needs it? So uh, let's see here. Let me think of a better example. Okay, yeah. So let's say that I, I can't confirm this, but let's just say United Express operates E-175s to San Diego from Los Angeles. You'd rather get another, or you'd rather get a United E-175 to fly Los Angeles to San Diego rather than get another Alaska aircraft and have uh, United be a gaping hole. You want to kind of evenly build up the airport. And San Diego obviously isn't a prime example, but I'll have more context on that a tip. And all the model airplane stuff, um, collecting and building up your airports when the time uh, comes for that video. Then the risk of the model being re-released, here's another thing that you want to uh, be very precautious about when you are buying aircraft. So uh, in the Alaska's example, that thing is not going to get re-released probably just because uh, until for a long time, until it's considered a retro because that model uh, is in the old paint scheme. But um, let's say, for example, uh, with just a couple months back, or yeah, actually let's use this model example. I'll bring them both up. So. Let's say that you're trying to get an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER, a very, very rare aircraft in the new paint scheme, of course. Not the one world, the new paint scheme. The one world's a little more common. But let's say that you're trying to get a one world, or sorry, a new livery 777-200, and uh, you find a deal for $65. That's, in my opinion, a good price for it. And, but here's the big deal. That is a real content, or a real, or a real, uh, uh, a real candidate for getting re-released. So you have to make this decision, would you rather wait a little longer or would you rather pick it up now and have it? Uh, so, prime example, let's say that we're back in April and you're trying to find an American Airlines Boeing 787-8 for your Chicago O'Hare model airport and, and a listing comes up for $65. Do you immediately jump on that or do you be a little patient with it, try to find a better deal, maybe around the $50 range or wait till July 2020 when Gemini Jets re-releases the aircraft uh, five years later after the initial release in 2015. You kind of have to make that decision like, yeah, I do want this, but I can be patient with it. Or, hey, this is a gaping hole. Why don't we just take it out now? The deal is fair. It's worth doing. So in the example of those two aircraft, um, you kind of have to just nick and choose. Like, uh, who knows? The America Triple Two may get released in September. So maybe just be patient with it or try to find a better deal. But if you think that's a good enough deal, then take it. I highly recommend doing so. And then that pretty much just covered the be patient and will come up. Yeah, with eBay, uh, there is a key tip that I will show you guys here real quick. Um, you have the uh, model here. So what you can do actually is we'll come back to that potentially, but I've kind of covered how to do it. Let's just say American Airlines 1 to 400. What you're going to do is there's something really cool about this. So what you can do is you can type in a term or aircraft, whatever you want to do, and then you can do save this search. What this will do is you can save it and you actually, if you have your email on your eBay account, they'll send you emails when new listings are provided. And then also, let me show you guys how it works on my phone because it is a little different on the uh, mobile version here. Um, as you can tell, you have your recent and your saved. If you go over to your saved, uh, and then you can click whichever term you have. See, I have these three. We have uh, Southwest Airlines 1 to 400, Delta CRJ 900 1 to 400. That was back when I was looking for it, but I would take another one. And then you have the uh, American Airlines 1 to 400. You can just click on it, or yeah, and it'll come up. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to do it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. But there is a. It is really fun to find these rare models on eBay and just be precautious with it. Read your reviews, make sure the model's in good condition, make sure the shipping's good, 
and have some fun with it. Go find some models that you really wanted for your model airports and yeah, let me know in the comment sections what kind of rare models you can find. I would really appreciate it. But if you guys do enjoy this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on the notification bell so you guys do not miss any more videos. Let me know if you guys like these two videos. I'd love to keep making them and I hope you guys are excited to see the rare models that I will be getting in the future. But my name is Red River Aviation. I enjoyed making this video for you guys. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And until next time, Red River Aviation is signing off. <laughs>